So you've got your working drawing and cutting list, you bought your timber, and you're ready to cut. But how can you be sure that you're making the most efficient use of materials? In this video, I'll show you how to use a 1D cutting optimizer to get every last millimeter out of your bar stock. So in last week's video, I showed how to make a working drawing and cutting list using SolidWorks Weldments. Now, once you've got your list, it gives you exact quantities and lengths of all the different members, but you want to be sure that you're getting the best usage out of your material. So for this particular project, a simple workbench, you might think that using a 1D cutting optimizer, more about that later, is massively over the top, but this is all leading on to a much bigger project that I have lined up. My goal in the next couple of years is to make a garden room or garden office or pod. They've got various names and these things are ridiculous amounts of money. They're about £17,000 for the spec that I want. Now, I think I'll be able to do this between two and three thousand pounds, but to do that, I'll need to have extremely close attention to detail on the pricing and the materials and every single aspect to get the price right down. So before you judge me on overcomplicating a simple project, this is just a test of the methodology that I'll be using for a bigger project like the garden room. Now, the focus of this video is around the 1D Solutions 1D Cut and Optimizer, and basically it's a way to make sure you get the best efficiency out of linear materials like steel bar stock and timber and pipes and things of that nature. I'll include a link to this software in the description, but once you have it installed, it's actually pretty easy to set up. You just get a 30-day trial out of the box, but that's enough for most projects. If you're going to be using it more regularly, I think it's around $170. So you might have a cutting list you've drawn up by hand. I have this one that I've done in SolidWorks and I've got quantity and length. Now, you start off by defining the job. Um, I've called it the bench. You can give it a project if it's part of a, um, a bigger system, give it a description. And then it's just a case of recreating the cut list within the 1D nesting optimizer. And I've got no doubt that the fully fledged version has got a way to import them as CSV files or some such in case you've got a much more complicated project than I have here. So I'm just going to enter in all of the different details. So I've got the rear up right here, length 9, 10, quantity 2. And I'm going to go through this list to, um, to input all the different items on the cut list. Once that's in place, you need to sort out your source bars. Here I've got a 4.8 meter, 40 by 70 par, uh, planed all around. Given it a length, quantity is how many you have available. I've just given a basically infinite number. And when you press optimize, it gives you a cutting pattern diagram like this. So each of these sort of long tables represents the bar stock. The gray areas in the bottom here represents wastage. And it even gives you a tick list to check them off as you cut them. So I use this to cut the bars as I went, tick them off. And it made perfect sense to me. It was dead easy. And it saved basically a whole bar. I thought I was going to need three bars. And I actually ended up only using two. Finally, this last little bit is a 3D printed drill guide, and it's another tiny optimization that I'm trying to make to get the cost of this garden room right down. So again, it's over the top for this little project, but on the main event, it'll save a hell of a lot of marking out. So you just lay the printed guide over the top, and you can dot through on the holes. So hopefully this little guide will have been some use to you and you might not have heard of 1D cut and optimizers and it might save you some materials in the future. If you have, do let me know what you use because there are various options available online. Let me know in the comments and if you like these videos, do like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you next time.